Hello everyone, this is Super Dimensional Bun. Today I'll be reviewing Bandai's 160 scale Pat Labor Ingram um, from the Pat Labor TV series. So, this is a non grade kit. Um, it was originally produced in 1989 and currently retails for 1300 yen. Let's take a closer look at the kit and some of the details. So, oops. At the front. side and the rear. Fair amount of details on this kit um, for a non-grade kit. It's not too bad. Let's see. So let's just take a look at the articulation. Start with the head. So <laughs> I'll put that back on later. The head is just connected by a poly cap. Spin 360. Just glue that piece. Okay. The arms. Now they're connected by poly cap, and they have these rubber sleeves, which allow it to spin 360. But it's not recommended to do that because now the rubber sleeve is coming out of its joint. <laughs> Out of the shoulder, I'd say, but you can stick it back in, not a problem. I'll deal with that later. Okay, legs. Yeah, they're hindered a little bit by this, the armor. But they do have a pretty fair amount of articulation. The knee bends 90, 90 degrees. They can bend, go 180, and the elbow bends a little, eh, 90 degrees as well, and the hand, which is connected by a peg and a poly cap, so 360, it could spin 360 there, and it could wiggle a little bit left, up and down. This kit originally came only in, let's say, about three colors, black, white, and um, these clear, actually four four colors, these clear poly, um, clear parts for the shoulders and clear part for the visor. Everything else was painted. Um, now, I'd say that uh, the black sprues that came with the kit were, only, were mainly for the internal skeleton and this front chest piece. Everything else was white. So... Yeah, you need a fair amount of uh, painting to make this kit look good. It looks alright without without the paint, but um, to make it more anime accurate, you'd have to paint it. So let's take a look at the accessories. So there's one hidden compartment which holds its revolver. Only this leg can open up, this leg can't. So. Here's the revolver that comes with the kit. Now, this kit comes with a spare hand that holds the revolver. Let me just go ahead and put that on. And this hand has a little trigger finger that goes in the loop. And just connect it. Like so. And there you have it. Let's pose this bad boy. Now, it also comes with an extended um, baton, electromagnetic baton. It fits in the hands easily. Okay. And it also comes with a shotgun. It's a pretty long shotgun. It also, you have to use the same hand to put it in. And last but not least, you get parts for unit two, 
orders units. And the shoulders. So let's go ahead and replace those parts right now. Just to give you a look. So one good thing about this kit is that um, these parts are easily interchangeable. So, what are the pros and cons of this kit? Well, pros being that it's a non-grade kit, there are not a lot of pieces to deal with. Oh yeah, one more piece, one more part I forgot to point out is that it has articulation in the waist. It can actually spin 360. So, back to what I was saying. Um, the pros of this kit being a non-grade kit is that uh, Less parts means less time removing the kit, uh, the parts out of the sprue, and uh, easily quick assembly. Um, let's see, this kit is uh, fairly de fairly detailed. Um, could use a little more. It comes with a lot of stickers for decals. Um, I advise using them. It gives this kit uh, a lot more depth and detail. Uh, let's see. The kit is, has a good amount of articulation for something that comes came from 1989. Um, let's see. The uh, rubber coverings for the, the kit, good and bad. Um, good is that um, it, is, it doesn't really hinder the kit so much. Um, might make it a little springy, so I guess that's a bad thing. Uh, this, the rubber coverings were actually a light blue color. Um, I actually painted this, those parts uh, a, a gray color, and it actually the good part is that it sticks pretty well. Um, but it can um, crack and dry if you move the parts too much. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. Some of the paint is coming off. I don't intend to uh, play with this too much. Just keep it in one pose. Um, pros also get the, of course, the parts for unit one and unit two. Let's see, and um, let's talk about the cons. Uh, so these are the only sets of hands you get: those fists and this one hand that uh, holds the rifle, uh, the revolver. Um, in the other version of this kit, the Ingram Alphonse Special, you get an open hand. For a left hand and a hand that come that's attached to a, a larger revolver. Don't really need it since you already have this revolver, but uh, it looks a little looks a little better. Um, being that it's not non-grade kits, <laughs> cons is that you'll need to do, have do a lot of painting to uh, make this thing look really good. It looks all right without it, but if you want to make it look accurate, painting is necessary. Um, seam lines. Now there are seam lines, I would say everywhere because it's, uh, it's an original not grade kit. I don't know if you can see that line there. I tried my best to uh, not get paint into it. Seam lines come in the sides and in the front um, and in the middle. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Everything, seam lines in the middle of every piece makes it look really ugly. The ones in, on the upper thighs were pretty pretty hard to get um, to clean up actually. But other than that, it's a pretty decent kit. Um, now for 1300 yen, it's an iffy kit. Uh, I got this on sale like maybe for like 800 yen. If you get this, if you see that kit for 800 yen, sure why not. I would recommend this kit for uh, fans of the show. One more thing, I uh, forgot to do a comparison. So, here is the Type X0 that I've uh, built earlier. As you can see, it's slightly smaller than um, the Type X0, but um, relatively same size, same scale, so. 
yeah, there you go. Um, Type XL, of course, is a sleeker design. Um, the Pat Labor in ground is a more, I say, friendly um, round design. And also, let's compare this to the size of a regular gun down. So, here is the Strike gun down. It's slightly bigger, even though it's a 160 scale versus a 144 scale. But of course, uh, Pat Labor is supposed to be, um, it's not supposed to be as tall. Anyway, there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, tune in again uh, for more uh, reviews. And uh, see you next time.